If allowed within your organization, you can create new cells and store them in an existing cell library or in a new cell library. In this lesson, you will learn how to create cells. There are several steps to creating a cell. One, attach an existing cell library to your design or create a new one. Two, draw the contents of the cell on the desired levels. Three, select the elements to be included in the cell using the element selection tool or place fence tool. Four, define the cell origin using the define cell origin tool. Five, in the cell library dialog, click the create button and define the name, description, and type of the cell. Six, finally, delete the elements that you use to create the cell. Let's get started. We continue with the using cells.dgn in the cells model. First, we'll create a new cell library to store the new cells. In the cell library dialog, select File, New. In the Create Cell Library dialog, navigate to the backslash msbasics backslash standards backslash cell folder where the other two cell libraries we used are stored. In the file name field, Type training as the name of the new cell library file and click Save. The new cell library training.cell is created and attached to the active design. The cell library at this time is empty. On the Home tab in the Attributes group, set the active level to Geometry. We draw a figure that consists of multiple lines, circles, shapes, and using different colors and line styles and levels. Using the element selection tool, select the elements that will form our new cell. A cell requires us to define an origin location, which the cursor uses as the origin point when placing the cell. We set the origin point next. On the Home tab in the Placement group, select the Define Cell Origin tool. You can also find this tool in the Cells group on the Annotate tab. Snap to the point in the center of the graphics we created. A small cross appears confirming our origin point. This origin stays active until you click the Define Cell Origin tool again. In the Cell Library dialog, click the Create button. Make sure you first select the elements and then define the cell origin, otherwise the Create button remains gray and cannot be used. In the Create Cell dialog, we enter the name of the cell, Object A, we give it a short description, in this case, My First Cell, and ensure that the cell type is set to Graphic. Click Create to create the cell in the library. To clean things up, delete the original elements used to create the cell and click Define Cell Origin again to remove the active origin. To confirm the cell works, let's do a quick place cell. Double click the cell in the cell list and place it several times in the design. Let's create two more cells and store them in the same cell library.
We place the cells in the design to check if the origin points are correct. Select Save Settings in the Quick Access Toolbar or press Ctrl F to ensure that the cell library training.cell is automatically attached the next time we open this design file. In this lesson you learned how to create a cell. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.